Well, I guess this is what you call just kind of a yo-yo spring in the sense we had the mildest winter I can remember for years. And ever since we had this early ice out and this mild winter, they boy, we're gonna have an early spring. Well, you know what, we've had wind, we've had rain, we've had a lot of cool weather. And so you look at this early May and uh, water temperatures have been, you know, up until this point, I mean, they've been hanging around high 40s. And so these crappies will push in where they want to spawn, then some wind or some cold weather hits, some rain hits, and they pull out. So they're just, fish are pushing in, fish are pulling out, and it seems like you have to find them every day. We've got some sunshine, we've got some calm weather today, which I think will help as far as these fish pushing up shallow, but r heavy rains are in the forecast this afternoon, and so, if, you know, that cools the water again, we'll be right back to square one. And so I guess the biggest thing this time of year when it comes to crappies, just be flexible. You know where these fish winter and stage, you know where these fish will eventually spawn. You're just trying to figure out where these fish are between those two points, and that's a moving target each day. You know, this time of year, it's one of, oh, there's a crappie right there. Uh, this time of year, it's one of my favorite times of year to come out, because you can actually just look over the side of the boat. You have a good pair of polarized glasses. You can see down, and you know, this isn't fancy electronic fishing. This is simply looking over the edge of the boat, looking for the heavier stands of cabbage, which we just found, and these crappies, you know, they use it for cover, they use it for feeding, and this time of the year, it seems to be just a magnet for these crappies. So that's what we're looking for. I can see them, I can actually set up a game plan. We'll stop and we'll just kind of pitch to the stands of cabbage and see if we can uh, get something going. That's a good one. <laughs> People have been waiting a long time to do this, you know what? And that's oh, what yeah, they've nice dandy. One. And there. that's what we were hoping, you know, this, that <laughs> sun comes out and everything can move right back into what we, yeah, what we it, want. Yeah, it's amazing how fast these fish can shift. Look at that fish. Oh, that's a slab. That huh? is a slab. Oh, goodness. That's the thing is it's, a, it's crazy. I mean, one nice day and these fish are just up where you hope, up in the cabbage, basically cruising around two, three feet down, just letting that sun hit their backs, trying to warm up it. That is just a gorgeous fish. And what a rite of passage, you know, Minnesota especially, you know, there's walleye season's closed. This is what people are doing. This is what people have been waiting for. What a cool, awesome fishing opportunity. You know, so basically what this is, just kind of a sand bowl that's say six, seven, eight feet of water. And there's cabbage scattered through here. And it seems like Wherever you see the tall stands of cabbage, that's where we're finding crappies. We can actually see these fish. When we have forward-facing sonar in the boat, we're not even using it. We're just cruising along, looking for those tall stands of cabbage. You can physically see them. And wherever you get good clumps of cabbage, that's where these fish are holding. And we're see, you, know, you can look in the water. We can see crappies, we can see sunfish, we can see bass. And so, I'll tell you what, it's a lot nicer day than what the forecast was, and these fish are pushing up. Fun fishing. Oh, there's one. Got him. Yeah. Well, that looks like a better fish, Tony. You know, this is just fun. It's something you can bring the family out for. Oh, yeah. Spend some time sight fishing. Look at that. That's just a good one. Good crappie. Look at that fish. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> How thick he is along the back. <laughs> <laughs> just chowing you know no bait just this little hair jig you know we're out here and these hair jigs are just producing like crazy you don't have to slow down with bait don't even have to use a plastic just that hair jig it's what these fish want so many people think Detroit Lakes they think the tourism you know the activities the things that go on here in the summer and you know a lot of people like us you know we think fishing Jason and this is the time of year, you know, there are so many lakes in this area that are great recreational lakes with lots of people, lots of cabins. It's a fun area, but this time of year, these recreational lakes, you know, there's barely any docks in. There's not another person out here on the lake. It's one of the best times of the year to enjoy this. Sun's out, water's warming up, and this is just the time of year that you can have these lakes pretty much all to yourself. 
Yeah, a couple months from now, there's going to be jet skis all over <laughs> this. <laughs> and not that the fishing uh, isn't still, you're not able to catch fish then, it just changes a lot. You know, right now, yeah. these fish are getting spooked when they get too close to the boat. Well, you can imagine if there was 50 boats out here. Uh, what Driving the, what, in a circle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, so this water is super clear. I mean, at first when the sun was up a little bit, we could actually see the fish swimming around us. And so it's been really important to just cast and get away from the boat. And the other thing is, you know, we're fishing less than five feet of water. And so I like to use a clip-on bobber. That way that line doesn't slide up through the slip bobber where you, you basically can sometimes lift out of the strike zone when you're trying to twitch and work these jigs and basically just a long cast and you're just twitching that bobber, let it sit, twitch that bobber, let it sit. <laughs> that bobber tips over, if it pops, if it does anything, set the hook. Really easy fishing. <laughs> and fun. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Slabby. <laughs> Just lift it right in here. Oh, come here. So this is really a basic presentation and you can use a float or a cork or a bobber with a minnow. You can use soft plastics. That'll all catch crappies. But I tell you what, for just covering water and just from an efficiency catching fish, Northland Fishing Tackle makes some phenomenal jigs here. Now this here is a Northland Tungsten Crappie King Fly here. See, it's got a tungsten head you see there it's got the hair on it. We've been fishing these plain with nothing on them all day. These crappies love these hair jigs. And you think plastic's durable? This is way more durable. Catch several fish on one and you can just wear them out. And so it's just easy fishing. You don't have to worry about baiting up. You don't have to worry about losing your bait or casting off your bait. You basically just cast these and twitch these and go and they catch a lot of fish. And so tungsten is denser than lead. And so smaller profile, it fishes heavier, stays down in front of the fish. And that's the biggest thing is when you're twitching these jigs back, you want that jig to stay down in the zone, whatever depth you have this set at. And if you're using forward-facing sonar, this shows up way better on your forward-facing sonar. And so just have a fluorocarbon leader, an eight-pound fluorocarbon leader just for hoisting fish over the side of the boat, and then just using a six-pound braided line. So there's just six-pound suffix braid going to the fluorocarbon leader, catching that with an Alberto knot. And one thing I like to do with this fluorocarbon, these small jigs, and just tie your jig with just a loop knot. That way that jig is always hanging perfectly horizontal. And so this system here is just a, just a classic clip-on float is gonna catch you a lot of crappies. There he is. That's a good fish. That thing dig. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good fish there. <laughs> that's a beautiful crappie. Still using that same hair jig. That's what's incredible about these. <laughs> Think plastics are durable? <laughs> Try hair. They catch a lot of fish. You just keep on catching. You don't have to mess with bait. That's a gorgeous crappie. You know, fishing like this, just it, it's simple fishing and it's, you don't need any of the fancy equipment. You know, we're, we're not using forward facing sonar. We're not using anything special. We're just coming out here to areas that have the cabbage weeds, you know, right off the end of people's docks in the summer. And this is a great opportunity where you don't need a lot of fancy gear. You don't need anything special. You just need a slip bobber or a fixed bobber, get out, Put on a, a little hair jig and cast down into those cabbage weeds and you can have fun all day long. So this is an overly technical fishing, but it is important to make long casts a lot of times in the shallow water, especially as clear as this water is. I'm using a seven foot ultralight, which 
Shields makes a phenomenal lineup of rods. And so if you're looking for a, a great crappie rod, Shields Ultralight Series, seven foot light, ultra fast action. is just a phenomenal rod in the sense, you see that just that nice soft bend. So you wanna have a soft rod just because these crappies do have soft mouths. And then that softer tip just enables you to cast these light jigs a long ways. There we go. It's a good one here. If that's a crappie, it's a dandy. Oh yeah, that's a real nice one. Look at that. Just beautiful fish. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, that's a slab. <laughs> I believe that's what they say, he has shoulders. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Wow. Oh my, that just makes your day. Is there a better way to spend an early May day than this? Really, I mean, it's the only game in town, right? I mean, you can't walleye fish yet. Get that jig out of there. Look at that, that is a stud of a crappie. -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, that just makes your day. That is a gorgeous special fish there. We'll get her in the water here and give her a bath. Look at that, just a handful. There she goes. That is good stuff, huh? That's a dandy, Jason. <laughs> Been waiting a while to do this. This is one of my favorite things to do every spring, you know? I mean, it just doesn't get any better. And you know what, this is a popular thing. Cool thing about this, anybody can do this. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, you'll see people small, tiny boats, kayaks. It doesn't take hardly any equipment to do this. And there's so much negativity with fishing. Oh, forward-facing sonar, this, this, and that. You know what, you can go out and catch all kinds of fish with minimalistic equipment, keep it simple, and have fun. And that's the biggest thing with fishing. You can make it whatever you want it to be. And this is an awesome opportunity that anybody can take advantage of.